Yo, what's up? Today I rank all Kingdom Hearts 3 bosses. Not really, because I don't include the DLC, so yeah. The ranking also includes how annoying the bosses may be, so take that in mind. Number 1, Dark Side. The first boss does nothing. With the new mechanics from this game, you can just fly until you hit the head. Nothing he does is dangerous, also because this is the tutorial boss, so have fun. Number 2, Rock Titan. The Rock Titan is the first boss, nothing hard just break his legs and then get the head. You can finish him with the train, but watch out because if you use the finish too early, you'll just need to break him again, which sucks. Number 3, Ice and Fire Titan. The tornado is just watching at the moment, just beat them both and get out of here. Hercules will be good to use when you're in the middle and they just take the hits without doing anything. The carousel thing is also good, but other than that, you can just use water and both of them and spam your way to victory. Number 4, Lich. The Lich is something Sora has to fight in order to save his friend's souls and get out of Limbo so he can fight Xehanort once again. This thing is easy to deal with since he doesn't do much, you can just take one hit or two and he just sits there taking the beat. Number 5, Skeleton Heartless. This thing is pretty easy, it's pretty impossible for you to lose here. If you ever run low on health, you can just destroy someone in the air and recover quick. You just gotta deal damage to the dragon and then hit him sometimes. Sora really shows off his strength on this fight. Number 6, Thibs Heartless. I don't know how this thing is called, but he appears multiple times throughout the game. I'm only including this one though. He sometimes swings around, but it's pretty easy to deal with since it's the start of the game. You might not have much, but you can still become a ship and spread liquid around. So have fun. Number 7, Marshmallow. For the most part he doesn't do anything, this is further ahead in the game but you have more stuff to use against him. You can also spam fire against him. It's pretty easy to deal with this guy. There's also the tree thing and I don't know if you deal more damage if you wait for the right moment but just obliterate this thing. Number 8, David Jones. You can beat David Jones because he's ugly but he doesn't even do anything. The most annoying part is going after him when he runs around and dealing with the tentacles, but for the most part this is easy, just get him out. Number 9, Wind Titan. The Wind Titan is easy, but still kind of annoying. You have to go after him, then you get sucked, just stuff Sora deals with on the regular. You also cannot hair sap towards his face, so sometimes this gets weird for me. Number 10, Aquatic Heartless, or whatever you call this thing. When Sora decided to become a pirate, he also accepted underwater combat, which is not bad, but it's still worse than fighting on land as you might imagine. For the most part the hardest thing is whether or not you will go through this or you will break your controller first. Chills the kid and this fight's easy. Number 11, Mother Goddle's Heartless. This fight is perfect, for the most part just shows you how the next hours of the game are going to be. Giant Heartless and stuff happening. Then you gotta walk your way to the enemy and hit him some. Just perfect Kingdom Hearts content, have fun on that one. Number 12, Volcano Dinosaur. This thing is pretty cool visual wise. You just gotta block some and then hit the head. Nothing that crazy happens in this fight. You will have to fly around the city later on to fight this thing on top of the building. But that's easy, just get the win and go home. Number 13, Heartless Doll. This boss would be arousing if I was more into Japanese culture. It's a doll possessed by darkness and you gotta beat the hell out of her. While fighting side by side with Woody and Buzz Lightyear. So go ahead, beat her, and then you can go beat something else. Number 14, Horse Heartless Tower. This boss is for the most part annoying because you gotta beat this thing many times until you actually have beaten him. Just repeat the process until you've actually done it. Number 15, Dark Cubes. Yeah, this boss is interesting. The best thing he can come up with is hands. For the most part, you'll be there waiting until you get a chance to hit them, but you can get it done eventually. Just practice your mental capabilities and someday you will be able to read Dream's tweets. Number 16, Toy Heartless. The Heartless from Toy Story, pretty cool boss. Pretty annoying to get to him sometimes, but it's just a taste of the real Kingdom Hearts 3 experience. Then you can finally get out of the toy box, and bruh, Sora's toy form is pretty cool though. Number 17, Ice Wolf. This should be Elsa's Heartless, but at the same time, maybe she doesn't deserve something this cool. So yeah, give it to the guy Sora didn't even know existed. Anyways, you can just take some hits, uh, deal some damage and deflect darkness together with Marshmallow. Then beat this stranger who got in your way. Number 18, Giant Unversed. Monsters Inc. World is pretty cool. The ink on the floor is more terrifying than blood for the most part. 
This boss has armor which he takes off later on so keep your pants ready. But then he takes less damage and you should definitely go for the head instead of the hands. Pro tip. Number 19 Demon Wave. This is the only time I'll be putting this one here, the time you can finally beat the tower. You just gotta deal with the stuff like watching their eyes, red means you can attack, yellow means you can do whatever you want. Then they start spraying kids around the map and you can then smash triangle a thousand times while there's random names on the screen. Number 20, Dark Baymax. Baymax finally got the chance to use the Antwort. And this fight sucks because we're flying on our Baymax and fighting on the air kinda sucks. So yeah, good luck fighting this robot. Number 21, Vanitas. In this fight you play as Aqua, which has been locked in the realm of darkness for years, but she can still show her skills. Vanitas isn't hard, Aqua has the 360 degree barrier, so you can definitely block anything anytime. This man has nothing against our girl. Number 22, Anti-Aqua. Anti-Aqua rocks the darkness outfit, but at the same time she's not a madness. For the most part you can hit her all you want. Sometimes she splits into clones of herself, but she prefers to use these clones for something else. So you can quickly hit some and find her. It's just sort of respecting Aqua's rights until she comes back to her senses. Number 23, Marluxia, Larxin and Luxodo. These fights are kinda weird. You're stopped after beating your opponent for some time. First you gotta do with Luxor, then Larxin and Marluxia come to fight you. There's Mickey pretending to help you, but then you end up doing everything by yourself. You can just beat them both and go out. Number 24, and some young Riku and Zigubo. This fight is kinda harder because the enemies are better. Riku has some interesting movements, Zigbar just shoots around, but you can get close to him basically at any time. That's it, just have fun until you win. Number 25, Saiyax and Zio. In this fight, Roxa saves the day, but first you gotta help Axel and Kyrie until Axel fails to save the day, then Xion comes to the team and we have another 3v1 situation, but thankfully we are the team. Roxas deals great damage, so you're good to go. Number 26, Vanitas and Terra Xehanort. In this fight sometimes I couldn't block stuff, or maybe it's just because I'm horrible at the game, but for the most part you can do it. You have Aqua and Ventus helping you, but you're the one doing the most at the end of the day. Just go for it and you're done. Number 27, Ansem, Xemnas and Young Xehanort. Interesting how you can pretty much fight the same person so many times. Basically, just focus on each one at a time and get going. Each time you defeat one of them, a sandstorm comes up and you gotta wait until you can fight again. But with some patience, you can get the whole squad out. By the way, is Zayn North Black or is it because of the power of darkness? Just a quick question for whoever knows. Number 28, Armored Zayn North. This is for the most part the most annoying fight because I honestly don't know exactly when to attack, but I can manage to win, which means the top tier players can definitely do it. It's just interesting the amount of stuff this man can do. Tilt gravity, summon more copies of himself, basically turn the arena into a volcano, so many stuff yet he lost. Number 29, Xehanort. The final boss is the hardest, there's too much stuff. Not so much that you can't track, but it's a nice fight. I think he's immune to magic, so whatever. Slashing through enemies has always been the most effective way of beating them, so you can go ahead and use the power of trinity and friendship to obliterate the power of darkness, which works amazingly. Anyways, that's it for today, if you disagree with the ranking, do whatever you feel like doing, see you around.